all men underestimate women, even the one who's supposed to love us. This whole story is completely true, except for all the parts that are totally made up. This is a disclaimer that pops up in each episode of our really successful brand new Netflix TV show, Inventing Anna. Basically, it's a tongue-in-cheek warning to those who want to check on the facts of Shonda Rhimes' latest show, and it says it won't be easy. If you've watched the show, you already know that Anna Delvey, Ni Sorkin, is not easy to check. I can do this. ADF will be a game changer. In this episode, we're gonna reveal all the details and secrets that you might have missed in inventing Anna. Stick till the end and let's get it started. If you're wondering if the story about Anna Dalve Sorkin is real, we have to tell you that it is completely true, except for all the parts that are totally made up. Jokes aside, this story has so many real facts and Anna herself was inspired by a real person. In 2018, the New York Magazine broke the internet with journalist Jessica Pressler's story about an alleged German heiress who was accused of stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from different financial institutions, banks, and even her friends. The alleged German heiress had a huge hope to launch a members-only club called the Anna Dalve Foundation. It turned out Anna wasn't German at all, she was from Russia and she was a scam queen who fooled the biggest wallets in New York City. Dalve was a true fake, the girl didn't have the money at all, and there was no no fund and even her name, Dalve, was made up. So basically, this is what the real story is and Netflix TV show is all about this young, smart scammer. Speaking of more real facts, the real Anna knew the people that the on-screen Anna was hanging out with. For example, Martin Sheckley. In one of the episodes, Anna was hanging out with a bunch of wealthy young people and Martin was the one who played Anna Lil Wayne's Carter V album before it was released. This is a real fact and Martin is a criminal who is known as the Pharma Bro, who intentionally caused the price of potentially life-saving anti-parastatic medication that was sometimes used to treat HIV to skyrocket in 2015, according to ABC News. Moreover, the infamous fire festival that was mentioned in the series is also real. Anna also knew Billy McFarlane, the scammer behind this festival. And according to Page Six, Anna Sorkin moved into the Wooster Street headquarters of McFarlane's dubious credit card company, Magnuses, for four months and wouldn't leave. Another really shocking but interesting fact, there's a real Instagram account that tracked Sorkin's court looks. You won't believe it, but the account at Anna Delve Court Looks is real and has 20.4k followers to date. Have you already followed it? But what about the references and other interesting things that you might have missed watching Inventing Anna? We're gonna break it down for you right now, but before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's one really interesting reference that we can see through the entire TV show. There's a lot of scandal connections. Do you remember the TV show with Carrie Washington and her really cool character, Olivia Pope? Olivia Pope runs a crisis management company and she has a really cool team that helps her in so many missions. Olivia, her company, and the staff at the White House and surrounding political scene. If you haven't watched this TV show, you definitely should. So, the first connection with scandal is is Katie Laws and it's safe to say that she played the most significant role of all Scandal alums in inventing Anna. Katie's character is Rachel, the former Vanity Fair photo editor whom Anna leaves on the hook for a $62,000 bill for a group trip to Morocco. But she isn't the only Scandal star to appear in inventing Anna. Jeff Perry plays Lou, one of Vivian's co-workers and portrayed Cyrus Bean on Scandal. Kate Burton plays Nora Radford on Inventing Anna and Sally Langston on Scandal. There are already three cool actors that appeared in this TV show, but here is some even more Scandal connections. Do you remember Vivian's timeline of Anna's actions? Don't you think it has Olivia Pope vibes all over it? It is not set up at a fancy office with big windows, but Vivian's timeline definitely gives off Olivia Pope vibes nonetheless. Speaking of Vivian, we all know she was pregnant, but did you actually remember her daughter's name? You'll be surprised, but Vivian revealed her daughter's name in the last episode. Do you remember that? If not, well, it's Maddie. Plus, there's a really interesting moment. Remember when she was screaming, I am not special, I am not special, and this is what helped her to give birth? You are not special. I am not special. You are not special. But where did it come from? 
Anna. In the very first episode, Anna tells Vivian, you're not special. People have babies every day. They squat in fields. Vivian's a husband, Jack, motivated her to push by making her say, people squat in fields to have babies and I am not special. Speaking of special people, Anna's boyfriend Chase was very special to her and he was also inspired by a real person. Anna's boyfriend's name is Chase Sikorsky, an up and coming in the tech world who is working on an app called Wake that catalogs dreams. Chase is played on the show by Samer Usamni. However, the real life Chase Sikorsky was never mentioned by name in the New York Magazine article. However, he was referred to by Pressler only as a futurist on the TED Talk circuit who had been profiled in the New Yorker. But here is some information about the alleged Anna's boyfriend. Many speculate that her real life boyfriend and likely the inspiration for Chase on inventing Anna was an app developer named Hunter Lee Soik, who did, in fact, give a TED talk in 2013 and was profiled by the New Yorker the same year. Just like Chase, Hunter was born in Asia and adopted by a couple in the Midwest per the New Yorker profile. He was also working on an app that kept track of users' dreams, called Shadow. So there's a huge chance that this certain guy was Anna's real life boyfriend, but we can't say that it is 100% legit information. There are even more real details from the real Anna Dalve Sorkin life. In the article that was written in 2018, it was mentioned that the real life Anna Sorkin met her friend Natafriart Neff Davis while working as a concierge at the 11 Howard Hotel. Anna Sorkin piled Davis with $100 tips and the two soon became friends. On inventing Anna, the hotel's name is tweaked slightly to 12 George. The first episodes see Vivian, a fictional version of Press who actually wrote the article about Anna, head to the 12 George to meet with Neff. There was one interesting moment with Neff in the TV show. In one scene, she tells her that one of the Culkin brothers, maybe the one from Home Alone, was at a dinner party she attended with Anna. It's a small moment, but it's pretty entertaining given that Anna Chomsky, who plays Vivian, starred in the 1991 film My Girl alongside Macaulay Culkin of Home Alone fame. Have you noticed that? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Another interesting thing is the lead image in the New York Magazine story is missing an important detail, but which one? Do you got any ideas? Anna Sorkin's hair is significantly messier in the actual feature photo for the New York Magazine story than it is in the inventing Anna recreation, and her makeup looks really different. But the disclaimer says this whole story is completely true except for all the parts that are totally made up, so maybe this is exactly what they were talking about. The next thing we've noticed watching the TV show is that Murder, She Wrote is playing on the TV when Vivian first visits Anna in prison. For those of you who don't know, Murder, She Wrote is an American crime drama television series focused on the life of Jessica Fletcher, a mystery writer and amateur detective who finds herself becoming involved in solving a series of murders that takes place in the fictional town of Cabot Cove, Maine, as well as across the United States and abroad. Vivian seemingly becomes distracted by the Angela Lansbury series while waiting to see Anna. And we can understand why this TV show is not bad at all. Have you watched Inventing Anna? If we missed any more secrets about this TV show, let us know in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Now the world will know that I am not an idiot, I'm not some dumb socialite.